lately I've been getting some complaints from the audience. Usually I don't read the comments because I get thousands upon thousands of comments every day. But every once in a while, I'll look in the comment section and I respond to some people. All right. One of the things that a couple of you cats been asking and stating, you will say, oh, Dante always talking about gay stuff in his videos. All his titles be so crazy and all this and that. Right. Let me tell you all something. I'm here to entertain and I'm here to educate. But again, I done said this on other videos. And it'd be the same ones. It'd be about five, ten of y'all. For you cats that keep on demonizing the comment section with your little negative comments. If my videos are so gay, if every video that I drop is so gay, that makes you two times gayer because you clicking on the video and watching it all the way through because you reference you you are referencing certain things that I'm saying towards the end of the video. Okay. So you remember back when your mama used to say, hopefully you had a good mama and not a ratchet busted mama. But for the ones that had a good mama out there and said that um if you don't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Well, guess what? Whether you was taught that or not, kiss my ass. Now, when I tell these stories, these stories is really for the youth. Because unfortunately, there are going to be a lot of juveniles that's going to be entering the penitentiary system. Especially in today's time, because it's like, all these kids don't fear God. And that's where it comes down to. A lot of these kids do not fear God. They have no respect for their elders. They have no respect for their parents. And, and then again, they don't have no respect for God at all. So these kids are going to prison at a, a alarming rate. Okay. So for the ones that will, that's going to find themselves in the penitentiary, this video is for you. And also... I do this for the truck drivers. I used to be a truck driver and I used to listen to Jay Williams, Let's Live Life to get me through my shift. I used to listen to Cartoon 53. I used to listen to Real Kids TV. I used to listen to Josh from Lockdown 23 and 1. I used to listen to the listen to um, Banky Pound, Bill Feasy, WAC 100. These are, and I used to listen to this show called Creepy Pasta, where they tell crazy, supernatural, weird stories. Okay. I used to listen to all of them channels to get me through my day. Now, when the truck drivers reach out to me and they tell me, like, yo, thank you, bro, for dropping this 30 minute video. Thank you for dropping this hour video. You be getting me through my shift. For the people that work at warehouses that got, 10, 10 and 12 hour shifts and people going into overtime. This is who I make these videos for. Okay. If you want a five minute video or want me to get straight to the point, pause, go, go to somewhere else. Okay. This is not for you. All right. Sometimes I would give y'all 15 minute videos, but a lot of times y'all get in 25, 30, 45 or hour videos. So like I said, if you don't like the way that I talk, if you don't like the way I tell my stories, if you think that my stories is gay, you don't got to watch it. Now, shout out to everybody else that be showing your big partner, Dante, some love. All right. And again, if you don't like the way I tell my stories, you don't got to watch it. Now, let's get to it. Now, for you cats out there that's going to find yourself in the penitentiary. I know there's a saying that other people was going around saying that, oh, um, dudes ain't in there knocking dudes out and taking cheeks because there's a lot of homosexuals that's running, running around and they just giving it up willingly. That's true. However, they not telling you all about the things that goes on in these cells. 
where a young cat will go up in there with an older dude and the older dude basically forces himself onto him now i'm out there hopefully this will be the last video that i ever had to make about this all right hold on y'all it's hot up in here i gotta roll down my window i'm in my truck right now giving y'all this video hold on let me roll this window down so all right hopefully no b or nothing fly up in here on me all right so before we go on i want to give a, a special shout out to my homie Sobi spochi right he got this nice clothing line and when i say listen i'm not going to ever promote nothing on my channel that i don't wear personally okay matter of fact y'all know me i'm always wearing a black tee or a white tee with my gold chain on right and yes the chain is fake but when when i do wear clothes i only wear the top quality okay and this is one of his shirts right here this is one of his shirts when i say when i say the quality of this shirt is by far I'm telling you, I'm going to leave a link to his Instagram and I'm going to leave a link to his store pinned at the top of the comment section. Y'all make sure y'all go support that brother. All right. But let's get to this story. Now, if you unfortunately find yourself in a penitentiary and you're young, I'm going to give you tips on how to survive the prison system and especially surviving booty bandits. Okay. So one one thing for show sure, if you would not hang out with certain people on in a free world do not hang out with these people in prison Oh Okay do not hang out with these cats in prison And what I, what do I mean like okay let's say you will Okay, so like me, for instance, out here in the free world, well, it's, I don't really talk to nobody anyway. I stay home. If I'm not at home, I'm going to the grocery store, or you might catch me and my lady out at a restaurant here and there, but I'm a homebody anyway, so I don't really go out, and I don't really hang with too many people. If really, I don't hang with nobody at all anyway, but you would never catch me out here hanging with a dope fiend because me and a dope fiend don't have nothing in common we don't run in the same circles i'm not um interested in what dope fiends do and i'm pretty sure dope fiends are not interested in what i do so naturally in prison i would not be around no dope fiend second um i'm not a homosexual so naturally out here in the free world Dante have no business being around any homosexuals because me and homosexuals don't have we don't share no interest we don't like the same things we don't we are not involved in to, in a day to day lifestyle you know what I mean so in prison I will have no business being around a homosexual all right now if and and then like let's say let's say because typically this happened. To guys that look weak now i know they say that you can't judge a book by its cover that is true that's true however you when you go to prison dudes is judging you off your physical appearance off the rip okay so if you come in there and you look skinny or you're, or you're short or you just look or you don't have you don't even have to be skinny or short you can be fat you can be middle middle built or whatever but if you come in there with your head down and you looking nervous and you you just so jumpy and you just got that look like like you afraid there's predators in there and they're gonna pick up on that and they will exploit it the best thing i tell people to do is if you know that you're about to go do time and 
and you know you're about to go down for a year or some years or whatever, while you in that county jail, or if you or, or if you bail out, if you get your bail, <gasps> excuse me, make sure you start working out. Make sure you start doing your push-ups. It's very important. If you out in the free world, start doing your push-ups, start going to the gym. Start eating everything in sight to get your weight up, get your strength up. If you got time, sign up for an MMA class or something right there so you can learn some techniques. Because when you go to prison, I'm going to just keep it real. You got to fight. You got to fight. There's going to be somebody that's going to be assigned to you in prison. There's going to be somebody that's going to test you either indirectly or, di or directly. When, when I first got to prison... Off the jump, off the jump, because I was from Flint, Michigan, and at that time, dudes hated Flint dudes. Off the jump from the dope. Matter of fact, when I was in the county jail, they was like, "Oh, you gonna have it rough. You going to the Terror Dome when you when you get when you get up there." They hate Flint dudes, right? Off the rip when I hit the dope, right? I could have easily said I'm from Detroit, because actually I was born in Detroit. Or well, I could have said, yo, I, I'm from Atlanta because I, I spent a lot of years in Atlanta. But no, I spent most of my years in Flint, right? So that's what I claimed at the door, knowing that it was going to be static from the rip. So as soon as I hit the door, you got two dudes right there talking about, hey, hey, where you from? Flint. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, no, y'all don't got one. Boom. Took off on dude. Get him right in his mouth, off the rip, right? Busted all that up. Then this tall boy jumped in, and it was two versus one, and I came out the winner on that. You best believe that. Because back then, we, we ain't even going to glorify the, the old prison days, okay? But anyway, you got, you got to be willing and able to fight. And to, and to be, now, there's guys that get through their bid by letting things go or just letting stuff ride like they be like yo it ain't that serious but you can only disrespect the man for so long before he reacts and some cats just ain't got it in them just like i heard um a story about that guy um vernon that was that his homeboys with some crips and another group or organization and one of the older crips end up taking advantage of him and when the other guys find out they gave him a knife and told him yo handle your business because the guy was telling everybody that he violated him and vernon was telling people like no nah, he didn't do that to me and they said okay well to sit to get this situation he go a knife go handle your business go get your get back right and vernon said he couldn't do it now from my experience in prison if if somebody violates you, whether it's in a homosexual way or they just take something from you or you loan them something and they don't pay you back and you don't say nothing about it or there's no repercussion to that, they're going to keep doing it. And, and then what's going to happen is other cats is going to get wind of it and then they going to feel like they can do that to you because you didn't do that to somebody because you didn't get your get back. And so, like, in the Vernon situation, I honestly believe that Vernon got violated many times after that because it's like, who is really going to go around telling people that they did the unthinkable to another man, right? And then it word get back to you and you don't do nothing about that because the only answer to that is violence, but you don't do nothing. So that's telling me that other men in there looked at that as, yo, well, sure. Well, maybe I can get a piece of that too. Because dude over here saying that he got a piece and Vernon didn't do nothing. So maybe I can go get a piece and Vernon don't do nothing. I tell y'all all the time that I can't tell another man how to program. But I will tell y'all this. When I was locked up, me and my crew outside of Freaky Freddy, we didn't tolerate that in the pod. 
we the only person that we let live in the pod was Freaky Freddy. Because Freaky Freddy wasn't forcing nobody to do anything. Freaky Freddy was loaning out commissary. And if you can't pay him back, who am I to, who am I to tell another man how to program? Now, did we have any booty banners in there that was forcefully taking things? No, we didn't. But there was guys that was in there doing things that they had no business doing. And we did um, get them up out of the pot. But the only person we let live was Freaky Freddy because he wasn't necessarily... Oh, he was doing what he was doing, for sure. But anybody that was that was dealing with him they knew exactly what they was getting into, all right? So, and also, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, too, because I know some of y'all are like, oh, Dante was playing politics. Why he didn't get Freaky Freddy out there if Dante wasn't condoning homosexuality? Okay, so let me, because I know y'all going to try to ask that question in the comments, so I'm going to answer right now. Basically, Freaky Freddy's situation was different because he ran the store, and he had a deal with my homeboy Tar T. And as y'all know, Tar T was the leader of the Crips in our dorm. Okay. So he, he would give Tar T free things on the house. You know, Tar T then was kind of extorting him in a way, but there was friendly extorting him. So even though Tar T was my guy, but at the same time, I couldn't mess up Tar T money. That's the that's the real reason why we didn't get um, Freaky Freddy up out of there because it was politics. But anyway, and I know, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds weird, but this is why I say don't go to prison because things that's logical out here in the real world don't make no sense in prison. It don't. But um, y'all want me to get a little graphic right quick because I feel like y'all going to sleep. So let me wake y'all up right quick. This is when I knew the penitentiary was real. On my second day, I see this young white dude walking across the yard in a big old diaper. Now, some of y'all that have been locked up, y'all know exactly why this man is walking with having a diaper on. If you ever see somebody while locked up with, with a diaper on, there's only one or two things that didn't happen to that man. But normally, it's one thing that happened. The second thing that happened to him, which is the lesser thing that could have happened, is that somebody took like a broomstick or broom handle or a mop handle or something and rammed them. For whatever reason they did it for, for a debt, they just didn't like the dude, he was a snitch, he was a rat. Whatever the case is, dudes do a lot of such stuff, okay? Now, the up uh, and, and if a man done got rammed with a pipe or something or whatever, well, that's what that will be the reason why he's wearing the diaper. Okay. The second reason a man could be wearing a diaper in prison is because somebody violated him. And um his organs was falling out, I guess. And I guess you gotta have that diaper on because your stuff is coming out. But that's some that's another reason of why you will see somebody wearing the diaper in prison. If you find yourself in prison, <clears throat> y'all should know by now, if y'all been listening to me and other prison YouTubers, do not borrow from nobody. Nobody in there is giving you anything for free. There's nothing for free. Even if they don't want no sex out of you, they could be wanting you to hold a knife for them, hold drugs for them, um, fight somebody, set somebody up. You never know what, what it is. So never get in debt with nobody in prison, okay? Um, there's a big misconception out there that, oh, this was my homeboy on the street. But guess what? Homeboy been gone for 10 years. You don't know what your homeboy been through. You don't know what he been involved in. A lot of these dudes come to prison 
and see dudes that they ain't seen in 15, 20 years, right? And they still think that that's their homeboy. All along, this dude is a full-blown homosexual. And when you get in this cell, after the first or second day, he going to tell you to look out for him. And you're going to be like, well, I don't got no commissary. He's going to be like, well, could you still look out for me? And you're going to be like, what you mean, look out for you? And he going to tell you, well, you can you look out for me? And, well, whatever happens from there just happened. Speaking of that, um, we just putting everything on the table. For you cats out there, I think a lot of you dudes be curious. And when I say curious, because like I said earlier, a lot of you cats be talking about old Hickle Dante dropping another gay story, right? The reason why I drop these type of stories is number one, to educate. And number two is to teach younger inmates or young dudes that's going to find themselves in a penitentiary. But then there's something else that y'all don't know about. For some reason, and y'all can look at other prison channels if y'all don't believe me. For some reason, if we title our titles with certain words, like catering to like some gay stuff, YouTube push the heck out of that type of content, okay? For some reason, YouTube, like when prison YouTubers drop a video talking about somebody getting their cheek butts, cheek busted, right? So, like I said, I'm here to teach and to spread awareness of what's really going on in the penitentiary. And let me tell y'all something. One thing that y'all ain't going to put on me when y'all be talking about, oh, he was talking about gay stuff in videos. No, I don't. If you really think about it, what have I really said that was gay? Just really think about that. Even if I'm telling y'all about Freaky Freddy violating somebody, but do I actually tell y'all about the violation? Y'all act like that I be talking about details of Freaky Freddy pulling his thing out and inserting it into a man. Y'all never hear me say no type of mess like that because that's, that ain't how I get down. That ain't how I program. I just lead y'all up to the cell and then y'all use y'all imagination of what happened. Don't blame me because y'all minds are so freaked out. And I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just talking about the five or ten of you freaked out dudes just always in the comment section, terrorizing the comment section, talking about, oh, they go down to go again, talking about butt cheeks and all this and that. Let me tell you something. I'm a heterosexual man. For you ignorant cats out there, that's a straight man that only like women. It ain't, I don't like trans women. I don't like none of that. I just like a natural woman. In fact, I'm married, okay? So I'm not looking at no women, period, okay? But nevertheless, um, you know, the crazy, the crazy thing that I have learned in life is this. The worst thing that you can put on a straight man is that he violates children or that he's gay. And that's why when y'all went, when some of you freaked out dudes, I be talking about, oh, I think Dante gay, come on out the closet. Let me tell you something. If you look at my closet, the only thing that you're going to find in my closet, you might find some handcuffs. You might find some ropes. You might find a taser in there. Why? Because if you make it in my house and you go to my bedroom, you're not leaving out my bedroom. That them handcuffs and that rope, well, that's another story. But but for you freaked out dudes, y'all go like, oh, see Dante gonna try to violate. No, it, it, let's just put it this way. When I get done with you, you're gonna be reprogrammed. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna handcuff you. And like that one story I told y'all a couple months ago that y'all tried to say that was clickbait and it wasn't clickbait. I'm gonna put a shot collar around your neck and I'm going to make you clean my house for a whole month. And then I'm going to reprogram you and I'm going to give you Bible verses. You're going to go to the Church of Dante of Latter-day Saints 
and I'm going to reprogram the way that you think so you will stop breaking the people's houses. And for the people that was talking about, oh, Dante, that video that you did, that was straight bank. No, no, it wasn't. And I'm going to tell you all what video I'm talking about. I'm talking about the video when I said that they broke into his house and he effed them. Y'all said, oh, that's clickbait. That was not clickbait. Y'all was just so goddamn horny and so freaked out that y'all wanted me to say that he effed them. F them could mean anything. And he did F them. He just didn't sexually F them. He F them by holding them hostage in his crib for two weeks and putting them to work. So there you go. And for you cats out there that be talking about, oh, they go down to you again talking about gay stuff. When I put a title, he dropped heavy pipe again. Laying pipe could mean anything. Laying pipe could be having a gun, having a knife, um, literally out working at a job with a hammer and nails and laying pipe. That's it. Just because y'all so freaked out, that don't mean that the video is a freaky video. It's just because you so goddamn freaky. But anyway, um, I want to give a, a special shout out to a couple of cats right quick. And the reason why I want to shout, shout out these people is because when I was locked up, they gave us these tablets that we could read, right? Well, they, it, these tablets had these, um, it had like YouTube on there, but it was highly, um, it was, it was highly watered down. Like you couldn't click, you, you obviously couldn't click on certain things on there, but there was a, there was a channel that I used to watch in there, right? And it was called, it's this right here. I finally found it. it it's called Cool Vibes. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, y'all. It, it's called Cool Vibes for Life. Y'all see that channel? When I was locked up, hold on, let me see. Y'all see that? Cool Vibes for Life. When I was locked up, y'all, this was a channel that they allowed us to look at. And what this channel was about, it, he, he was like doing like gaming. And um, it was really good. And I used to watch this channel all the time so y'all make sure y'all go check out this channel right here it's called cool vibes for life let me see there you go yep y'all go check that out right there matter of fact i'm gonna leave the link pinned in the comment section for y'all to check out and again y'all if y'all want me to promote your business your social media channel um your products let me know Y'all got my number. All my contact all my contact information is pent in the comment section at the top. Okay? So y'all make sure if y'all want me to promote something, don't matter what it is, just get in contact with me. All right? Shoot me a text. And for the people that can't see the comment section, my contact number is 810-627-0897. This, hold on, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 810-627-0897. That's 810-627-0897. All right, and with that, y'all, I'm out. If you need your business, products, or your social media channels promoted, make sure you shoot me a text at this number. My channel get over 5 million views per month. So that's a lot of eyes on your promotion. If you forgot to hit that like button, make sure you smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Be sure to get your Military Mind Games merch. The link will be pinned in the comment section. And last but not least, make sure y'all help me fight this war on poverty.